Hi, Dr. Sherwood here, going to clarify a misunderstanding about urinary health in rabbits, guinea pigs, chinchillas, and other small herbivores. First off, calcium does not cause sludge. Carbonate is the actual cause of sludge. Carbonate is part of the natural buffer system found within the blood. An unbalanced diet increases the amount of carbonate that spills into the urine. If you remember uh, your grade school paper mache volcano, the chemistry is very similar. Uh, sodium bicarbonate, from, which is baking soda, reacts with vinegar, which lowers the pH, converting carbonate into carbon dioxide, which bubbles out and giving that erupting type effect. You can accomplish the same thing by adding calcium carbonate instead of sodium carbonate, which is baking soda. And the calcium carbonate, uh, when you lower the pH, the carbonate will react and convert over to carbon dioxide and bubble out in the same way. If you add vinegar to uh, fresh rabbit urine to lower the urine pH, it will actually react in the exact same way where the carbonate will convert over to carbon dioxide and bubble out a solution, leaving the calcium behind dissolved in the urine and it goes clear, meaning it's not a precipitate, there's no sludge anymore. So as an example, I want to show you how this actually forms. In one vial here in this video, I'm showing you that by adding carbonate and to one vial, it mixes and is clear. If you add calcium to the other vial, it is also clear and dissolves totally into solution. When you mix the two together, the carbonate will bump into calcium ions in solution, and when they do, they chelate or bind to it, pulling it out of solution, forming sludge or precipitate. And you'll notice that that reaction happens pretty quickly. It forms white and goes opaque. But if you give enough time, the, the calcium carbonate sludge or precipitate will fall out of solution and settle down at the bottom, forming that sludge. If you mix it back up and you lower the pH, you'll notice that the carbonate will convert over to carbon dioxide and bubble again out of solution, leaving the calcium behind. And the, cal and the solution goes clear because calcium is no longer bound to carbonate. It dissolves freely in the water, and the carbonate is now gone. So if you're trying to solve a urinary health problem in your pet, you'll, you'll find that most people recommend the typical Timothy Hay-based, grain and soy-based pellet um, because it's low in calcium. And we've already demonstrated that calcium doesn't cause the problem. And if you actually took a urine sample, you would see that the sludge content is higher on that low calcium diet because there's more carbonate in the urine compared to Sherwood Foods, which are an alfalfa Timothy blend that have a much higher calcium content, there's a lower amount of percent sludge because there's lower carbonate levels. So we're, we become known for solving urinary health problems or sludge problems in these small herbivores by simply switching to our, our food. We help balance the diet better, which minimizes urinary carbonate levels and reduces sludge and increases urine volume. And so try switching to Sherwood Foods, you'll see a real difference, we guarantee it.